Hello, my dear boys. Hope all of you are well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to Physics Online Class. Today we will discuss on Chapter 2. The name of this chapter is Motion and today's our topic is Creative Question Solution. In this class we will try to solve a creative questions okay and this is a special review class for class 9 and class 10 english version so let's see the stream for a creative question so our creative question is here in the stream you can see a graph this is a graph shows velocity versus time velocity versus time of a curve in the graph you can see that in the graph in x axis uh, this is a time axis and in y axis this is a velocity axis okay here the line OB, BC, CD and DE reflects a velocity of a curve in different time. Okay, here in OB port the curve is in acceleration is in acceleration in the BC part the curve is in deceleration in the cd part the curve is in uniform velocity and de the curve is in deceleration okay here uh, we have given two velocity one is 15 meter per second and other is 30 meter per second here for position a the curve travel x time for position b the curve travel 20 second at 30 second the position of curve is c at 40 second the position of curve is in d and 50 second the position of curve is in e okay here the questions are what is uniform acceleration what is uniform acceleration okay the question b here is a statement acceleration due to gravity is a derived quantity acceleration due to gravity is a derived quantity explain this quotation okay question c determine mathematically how much time indicate ox in the graph here we need to uh, determine the time for OX okay at position A question D how change is coming in acceleration when the curve directly come from B point to E point analyze mathematically okay the question D is how change is coming in acceleration when the curve directly come from B point to E point analyze mathematically okay so this is our creative questions now we will try to solve this question part by part Our question A is what is uniform acceleration? Okay, the answer is if velocity of a body increases at the same rate at a certain direction, then the acceleration of the body is called uniform acceleration. 
Okay, I am repeat it again. If velocity of a body increases at the same rate at a certain direction, then the acceleration of the body is called uniform acceleration. Okay. Our second question is acceleration due to gravity is a derived quantity. Explain it. We need to explain it. Okay. Here the answer is acceleration due to gravity is a derived quantity because acceleration gravitational acceleration equal to change of velocity divided by time again we know that change of velocity equal to change of displacement or displacement by time so we can write displacement by time into time so equal to displacement divided by time square so we get gravitational acceleration equal to displacement divided by time square so gravitational acceleration can be obtained from the combination of more than one fundamental quantities this is why gravitational acceleration is derived quantity now we will discuss about question number c here the question is determine determine mathematically how much time indicate in ox in ox for ox how much time is indicated by ox okay here for ox the position of curve is a and uh, from oa line we see that the curve is in acceleration mode okay so first of all we need to determine the acceleration for the curve for this position for this position a first of all uh, we see that the whole distance ob is indicate the acceleration position so uh, for ob line the acceleration is will be the acceleration is same for oa so firstly we consider ob position for ob position the initial velocity is zero and the final velocity is 30 meter per second okay here u equal to 0 meter per second and v equal to 30 meter per second now for position b we get the time time travel by the curve is 20 seconds so here t equal to 20 seconds by using this data we can calculate the acceleration of this line okay so we know we know v equal to u plus a t so a equal to b minus u by t okay uh, so here v is 30 minus u is 0 and t is 20 so acceleration is 1.5 meter per second square for ov line the acceleration of this curve is 1.5 meter per second square okay for OA position, the acceleration will be 
same as OB. Okay. So for our second part, for our second part, we see that the initial velocity is zero, but the final velocity, final velocity is fifteen meter per second. Okay. And time is OX. And time is OX. We need to determine this OX and this is T prime. Okay. And acceleration is 1.5 meter per second square. By using this data, we know V prime equal to u plus a t prime okay so a t prime equal to b prime minus u divided by a here v prime is 15 minus 0 and a is 1.5 so time for OX is 10 second okay so we can write 10 second indicates OX 10 second indicates indicates OX in the graph okay so this is our answer for question c okay now we will try to solve question d here the question is how change is coming in acceleration when the curve directly come from b point to car directly come from b point to e point okay b point to e point okay so first of all first of all here from for from b to e we see that here we have three position one is bc here the curve is in deceleration or decelerated okay cd is in uniform velocity the curve in cd position the curve is in uniform velocity and again for de the curve is in decelerated okay or deceleration now, first of all, we need to determine this deceleration and this deceleration or negative acceleration. Okay. For BC, acceleration for BC part E1 equal to final velocity v final velocity here final velocity for this uh, part final velocity is 15 and minus initial velocity is 30 and time for final velocity is 30 and time for initial velocity is 20 so minus 15 by 10 equal to minus 1.5 meter per second square here minus acceleration is called deceleration okay again acceleration acceleration for de part a2 is again final velocity is 0 initial velocity for de part is 15 and final time 
is 50 and initial time from graph is 40 okay here minus 15 divided by 10 again minus 1.5 meter per second square so again we will get we are getting minus 1.5 meter per second square so here also we get a negative acceleration and this is called deceleration okay so we see that for dc part and de part the acceleration or deceleration is same or the negative acceleration is same so we can say that for b to e part the curve is in uniform acceleration okay the curve move in uniform acceleration okay now in this case so for coming b to e point the curve is in uniform acceleration okay and the acceleration is in this case the acceleration is for b to e the acceleration is a equal to here the final velocity final velocity is zero or v and remove this data this data is for only a equal to uh, 1.5 meter per second square then here a prime okay so 0 minus 30 the final velocity for b port is 0 because it come again at the initial point initial line and the final uh, initial velocity is 30 and the time travel 50 minus 20 okay here minus 30 divided by 30 so minus 1 meter per second square okay now therefore comparing for comparing with the initial acceleration we get a prime by a equal to minus 1 by 1 1.5 and we get minus 0 0.667 so we can write a prime equal to minus 0 0.667 a okay so the curve will have negative acceleration okay so we can say that the curve will have negative acceleration if it comes directly if it comes directly from b to e when b to e and the value is 0 0.667 times to the previous acceleration okay the curve will negative acceleration if it comes directly from b to e and which is 0 0.667 times to the previous to the previous acceleration okay so this is uh, our answer for question number d okay so in, uh, uh, in our next class we will try to discuss another critic question a end of the video end of the video you will get a homework okay 
so you must try to do your homework and submit it in comment section okay in our next class we will try to solve another creative question okay so uh, this is all for today and in our next class we will try to do another creative question and until then bye bye